ukaangaze kwa kuwa nuru yako yako sio ya neiba yako sio ya nchi fulani yako imekuja na utukufu wa Bwana umekuzukia maana verse 2 inaku, 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 inakuelezea tofauti verse 2 inasema nini maana tazama giza litafunika dunia you must know na hii watu hajui there is something that you have prophecy before rapture before rapture kanisa kunyakuliwa this what you be in the world na kuna mahali itafika Mungu aanze sasa kushughulikia wasafili God will start dwelling more on the people he is preparing for rapture Naudia tena Tunapokaribia kanisa kunyakuliwa There is a likelihood Mungu atatumia nguvu yake nyingi kuandaa wale wanasafiri If you are one of them sema amen, amen. God you never spare time kuambia mtu unaokoka uokoki kuna wakati sasa Mungu hatapembeleza watu Atasema enough is enough let me handle the obedient Enough is enough let me prepare my children Enough is enough let me now work on the righteous And I sense this time has come Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Mungu ataanza kuweka majina lakini hallelujah kukawa na clock down kukawa na inflation kukawa na instability kukawa na pigo lakini Joroge kama uje nilio hapa ukapata neema mbele ya Mungu and when you get grace before god god you give you a special word just for you for your redemption god you give you special word for your existence pigo yesu makofi and that's why let me tell you the truth you must agree there's a likelihood dunia itakuwa nzuri sana Although kila kitafanya dunia iwe nzuri never forget Bible nasema sisi tuliokoka tuna tabia mbili tutaabukiza dunia one sisi ndio nuru pili chumvi there are two unique characteristics that the church you have tabia ya chumvi chumvi ina tabia tatu ine chumvi in a pair test we are the people who provide test dunia itakosa rather and god you tell the church 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 now be the sort maisha is unbearable kama vile unawekewa chakula sema hii haiwezi meza bwana haina chumvi kuna wakati utafika neighbors your brothers your sisters Na, ha, your parents watasema haiwezekani uambie niko na chumvi i want to put salt so that life can be bearable yeah. ah you are chosen yeah. tabia ingine ya chumvi ni kwamba chumvi is a preservative wale mnajua zamani hakukuwa na fridge bwana chumvi ingewekwa ige preserve Dun, badara ya families ziharibike Badara ya teenagers waagamie. Badara ya wavuta bangi wapotee. The my God we are providing some sort. Nasema God let us preserve them. Ili wapate neema. I tell you, Bwana hakusema dunia ndio chuvi, alisema we are the sort of the world. Not the sort of ourselves. The world is there. Chuvi yake ni sisi. 
and we are the light of the world. Tumewaita leo. We prepare you to be the salt and the light. Kotoka hapa. Kila mtu aliyeko mkutano huu, you are going to influence your family. Utaita family come together and prophesy. Waambie sasa tunaelekea Christmas uwapangie uambie na siku hiyo umeomba uambie i'm going to declare mama wili kama chumvi hamtakufa au you are going to be preserved na mimi kama chumvi nasema hii family haitaagamia familia ambao watu wakutani familia ambao watu wanalumiana kupitia kwako itakuwa na test mtu ambaye karibu ajiue utambadilisha atakuwa na test you are i say you are the light you are the salt of the world pigia yesu makofi bwana katuambia iteni wateule muambie their unique position in just name why bible says katika isaya 60 verse 2 maana giza litafunika dunia did you see that Isaya 60 verse 2 you must note that because it's prophetic maana giza itafunika nini dunia na giza kuu litafunika kabira za watu look at that kwa maana giza itafunika dunia na giza kuu litafunika kabira za watu we the same same word imerudia lakini do you see that lakini au bali Bwana atakusukia wewe na utukufu wake utaonekana juu yako na mataifa wataijilia nuru yako na wafaume watakujia mwanga wa kuzuka kwako That's what God is making you to be now Kutoka leo mtatokea mtatokea Do you know why God you praise you so much? Because very soon watu wengi ambao wangekufa na wakose jia ni wao tawasaidia. I say we are going to release blessing on you. Mutabarikiwa kuanzia leo. Wewe ndio utakuwa ukipigiwa simu na ambiwa Mama nyumbani hana chakula. That's powerful. Una una tumona utakuwa unajulikana hata na manager wa Naivas. Manager wa Quickmart. Unasema manager tena gram maito. Peana chochote wanataka nitalipa nipe nipe tiu number. You are able to remove shame. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hallelujah. Utakuwa ukiambia yu wakazi nikujeni nataka kuapeleka Germany mkafanya kazi nataka kuapeleka nataka kuapeleka Australia God you use you so much kama nuru na kama chumvi we are releasing that anointing now it must work i say it must work i say it must work jabra kwanza ni genesis 6 verse 8 lakini gatimo akapata neema bwana bwana that's where we are starting from that there to ingia level number two inuka uangaze nuru yako imekuja amen kwa maana dunia itajaa giza na kabila za watu zitajaa giza lakini wewe they always be hiyo jina lakini lakini wewe tell your neighbor lakini wewe Mwambie tena lakini wewe. Ah haziki mwambie lakini wewe. Bwana atakuzukia na utukufu wake utaonekana juu yako. Na mataifa watajilia nuru yako. Mwambie wewe. Hmm, Jesus we worship you. watatangaza aja lakini utapiga simu ambie, mwambie mama fulani aje achukue unga watasema kuna shida utaambia your brother mwambie akuje nimwekee mikono 
kwa maana kuna nasikia tu kuna njia pahali mtakuwa na chuvi ina mbili chumvi kwa njia ya upako kuna maneno utaongea tu itatenda kazi God you anoint you God you anoint you God you anoint you Unajua jana tuenda pahali ah uh, mazishi and uh, you know God is powerful God is powerful God is powerful and, and I remember the was pastor Jawali Nena nikasema we must pray a lot kwa sababu nilipitia hiyo kanisa the other day kupita tu after kupita alisema kulikuja satanist akasema mchukaji kuna mtu amepitia hapa na amekanyaga hapa na tunamuogopa ametuweza akaabua bishop Gatimo akasema hiyo jina au tukitaja inatuchoma nikasema brothers and sisters you shall be so powerful kwamba unaweza kanyanga maeneo kukanyanga tu wachawi waanze wakiangamia Jesus is Lord Jesus is Lord Jesus na mujitakase ndio Mungu akutumie Mungu aliambia Joshua hivi Joshua abia watu wajitakase for after three days I'm doing a remarkable sign and then ukasema Joshua 37 nasema God said Joshua I will start now to magnify you Bwana wabariki. Mungu tayari. Hiyo yes. jina lakini leo tunaiweka. Lakini wewe. Bwana atakuzukia. Haleluya. Na utukufu wake utaonekana. Na, na leo tutawa anoint. Huu leo tutaua shetani hapa. Yes. Sijui nani ni pastor kadi tena kumuzika. Mi nitaua funeral ni level bogwa. Nani atapeana gari ya kuepa shetani kwa wazishi? Has. We must destroy this creature. We must. Let me tell the truth. The anointing we have is destructive. Bible sema katika 1 John chapter 3 verse 8, Kristo alifunuliwa kwa kusudi hili. Mwana wa Mungu alifunuliwa. Ili I like it in Kiswahili. Ili asivuje. I like it in Kiswahili. Asivuje kazi za ibilisi kwa kigesema so that he may destroy the works of the devil we have anointing to destroy satan's with sense a destroyer is allowed nataka usikie you are destroyer mafuta ndiyo mwagiwa is to destroy the works of the devil sasa imaba kukakana mashatani neiba nataka hata kama kuna mtoto wako amejiunga na ushetani saa hii we destroy the powers mtoto wako hata kama kuna onko mchawi tunaangamiza nguvu zake sasa kama kuna shosho sijua na abudu mapepo leo leo atasema mlipokuwa mnaomba kuna nguvu ilishuka ikaniambia niacha itabia hii ni mkutano wa deliverance hii ni mkutano unasema lakini ah lakini Woo! wakasubuka lakini nuru ikashukia watu wangu lakini wapata rehema bwana bwana ili kwa introduction na kama ni introduction na mahubiri je wacha tu taendelea na kama una pepo inakaa bahari siitoke sasa i rebuke that demon i say i rebuke that demon kama iko kazini nasema hiyo pepo itoke kazini iende na kama kuna dhabi umeficha I now set fire to destroy that sin. Yeah. Kama uko hapa wewe na usharati wa kusumbua hiyo usharati ukufe kabisha. Yeah. Kama uko hapa wewe na usiku unapata doto chafu za mashetani hizo doto na mapepo hao inao kutembelea yaende kuzimu. Yeah. I declare now cleansing yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Kama kuna mapepo inakunenea mapepo ya uchawi sijui litoa wapi. I arrest those demons. Na siamuru ziraaniwe kwa uwezo wa damu Yesu Kristo kutoka leo neno lote la laana linalokuwa dama kazina nyumbani na maishani kwa uwezo wa damu ya Yesu liagamie na ndio bila fulani 
I sense in my spirit kuna watu hapa what you are facing are weapons you are facing satanic let me tell something katika deliverance unaweza gamiza nguvu za shetani lakini lazima pia wagamize silaha watu wengi the walifika level number three. uko na nguvu juu ya shetani na umemuinukia lakini kuna siraha yake amekuwa kitumia huku yangusha and preachers you should get now discernment of dealing with weapons shetani amekuwa high tech now you can cast out a demon lakini uache siraha fulani when you leave a utakapacha siraha utakuta mwenye umeombea ako na amani but there's a satanic weapon and that's why bible says isaiah 54 verse 17 every weapon formed against you weapon it doesn't talk about now a demon weapon formed against you shall not prosper amen ina mkono hivi now by the power of god hala mashata pakaya poka taraba boshika siraha ambao shetani ametegemea amekuwa kitegemea kuharibu mapato yako ujaja ambao ametumia oh my god my god kuku confuse na wagamiza kwa damu ya Yesu kila siraha shetani ametumia against your hell that destroyed na angamiza siraha ya confusion na angamiza siraha yote ya ujinga ujaja wa ibilisi uteketee ola masata rabaka tokoposo tariba bosanda jesus deliver your children now I just says that the Lord is commanding us to destroy weapons. Where give me jazwa and you are doing well but there's a weapon in your house. Kuna siraha katika doa yako ambao hujaagamiza kila wakati na waleta. Kuna siraha katika mikono yako hapa shetani ameficha. There's a weapon at the place of uh, in your children. Now bakatarabo ninayagamiza kwa damu ya Yesu. Kwa damu ya Yesu siraha yote shetani amekuwa kitumia. Ninayagamiza kwa damu ya Yesu, damu ya Yesu. Weapons of Satan, weapons of evil. Bota pasa taba bakashanda rababu zaya. Mm. Now listen uko hapa na kitu kimoja kinako confuse ni disappearance ya vitu we hu, we huacha una pesa lakini kama kuna kashimo ni kama this a weapon that causes your money your peace things disappear in your life and now by the grace of god and the authority of the blood of jesus christ popote vitu vyako mali yako amani yako imekuwa ikipotelea hiyo mashimo ninayafunga damu ya kristo 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 itende ishara semeni amen sasa leo tugetaka wachungaji wetu watatunenea 